Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. What's up, I'm Dulex and today I'm gonna to show you how to take an RV kitchen like this and turn it into this modern farmhouse style kitchen. Let's get to work. So before I get started, let me show you the current state of this kitchen and what we're looking at here so you can see what I need to rebuild. So for RV standards, this is actually a pretty big kitchen. Starting on the right, we've got the refrigerator. It's actually pretty big and it runs on electric and gas, which is pretty cool. Down below down there, that's the converter. So it has all the fuses and the breakers in there. We've got a gas stove and oven. Where the backsplash normally is, they've got this cool wallpaper on here. And that's gonna be a pain in the ass to take off. Over here, this is the faucet. At first glance, this looks pretty decent, but if you actually touch it, you realize this, this is actually made out of plastic. It's very cheap. Um, down here, this countertop, I actually like how they designed this. You can actually pick this up and move it out of the way to get to the sink underneath, and it's double-sided. Over here, this is my temporary faucet that I put in when my water froze. Go check that video out if you haven't already. It was funny. And then this countertop is just a basically a big piece of plastic. I'm going to be rebuilding this entire cabinet structure to make it make a little bit more sense. And there's a lot of wasted space in there. They got the drawers right here. And there's nothing back here except the furnace is way down in the bottom. So I'm going to figure something else out for that too. So now you've seen what the kitchen looked like before I got started. Now it's time to get to work taking this whole thing apart. Now one of the biggest questions that I get on this YouTube channel is am I self-taught? Who taught me how to do all this stuff and other questions like that. And I figure it's a good time to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with literally thousands of online classes for curious and creative people like myself trying to learn a bunch of things with no experience at all. I've personally taken classes on woodworking, plumbing, electrical engineering, and of course, filmmaking. I recently finished a course called YouTube Success by MKBHD. I'm sure you've heard of him. He is one of the biggest influencers over here on the YouTube platform. And I've been using courses just like his to help improve my filmmaking skills and just overall improve the quality of the videos that I bring to YouTube. So I've teamed up with Skillshare. So the first thousand people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. And after that, it's only around $10 per month. And like I said, this is the membership that I've personally been using for the last couple of years. So yet again, thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and make sure you check that link in my description for your free trial. Now the whole kitchen is stripped, sanded, and painted white. So I'm gonna do the backsplash and I'm gonna start building the cabinet doors after that. So I'm gonna head to the store, try to find some cheap, lightweight backsplash to put on here. Whoa, 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 what was that? <clears throat> you didn't hear this from me, but uh, that little trailer right there might be my next big project. Don't tell anyone. got the entire backsplash done I'm gonna step up to the lights now so these lights we got right here 
they suck. My friend actually burned himself on these lights when he was helping me sand, and they're really inefficient. Basically, all the lights in the entire trailer are on the same line. So what I'm gonna do is add a switch to the beginning of this here, and then once I add it to the beginning of this, that'll be able to control these three lights right here that I'm gonna rewire with my own puck lights. With all the lighting and wiring done, now it's time to head to the workshop and build the cabinet doors. So a lot of people have been asking me how I make my farmhouse style cabinet doors and it's actually a very simple process. I don't buy my pine strips this thin. I'm showing myself here actually milling them down to a quarter inch myself from a 1x6 and then I just glue and brad nail them to either MDF or like half inch plywood or whatever I have at the time and then once I have it on there I just trim it with either my circular saw or my table saw so that it all has flush edges and then I'll nail on the design on the inside uh, just by using my miter saw to get the angles that are necessary to get these cuts in. It's very simple, it makes it look complicated, but it's really not that bad. I think anybody can really do it once they know how to do it. And staining these actually gets pretty annoying because there's a lot of little cracks and crevices you got to get the stain into and it can really be a pain in the ass every now and then so I had my sister come over and help me stain these up and she helped me film as well so special thanks to her because everybody knows I hate painting and staining and sanding. So here you see me tracing out the shape of the old countertop onto a piece of plywood and the reason why I'm doing this is because I am changing it up completely from the way that I usually make countertops and there's a few reasons for that. I usually make my countertops out of solid wood and that can get pretty heavy and that also is pretty time consuming to glue up those panels. So this time I opted to use some laminate flooring as the countertop. I know it sounds weird, but I've actually seen a few people doing this online with RVs because it's a very lightweight and what's more important to me is that it's gonna take less time. I actually set up a deadline for myself to finish this kitchen build by a certain time and I'm already over the deadline. So it would take me quite a bit of time to glue up a panel. So I just did the flooring onto this plywood and just cut it trim to the shape that it's supposed to be. And honestly, I didn't know how well this would come out, but it came out really well. The only thing I need to do is just put a border on the ends of it so that you can't see where the plywood meets the laminate flooring. And then it'll really just look like a regular countertop.
right, so now the sink is finally hooked up. I got the water lines connected, so I'm gonna turn on the water pump and see if anything's leaking right now. So I'm gonna hit the switch. And now I'm gonna see if this is leaking under here. So far, so good. I'm gonna take this sink cover off and I'm gonna turn on this water. <laughs> Okay, no leaks. I think, ladies and gentlemen, we have a sink. this point most of the kitchen is completely done i just need to do a few things to finish it off one thing i had to do was make a sink cover because the sink that i made is about three feet wide so that's huge so i needed to be able to utilize that space while it's not in use so i basically just made a small section of counter that goes over the top of that with some handles and i just made this out of some pine one by fours the next thing I have to do is utilize all the dead space that's inside of this cabinet behind me. So what I decided to do was make a weirdly shaped slide out pantry that goes around the furnace that's on the inside of this cabinet. Now, I do have a bunch of finishing touches to do like trim and stuff like that, but barring that, let me show you how this kitchen came out. the kitchen turned out after all that work I have a bunch of stuff that I need to finish after all this work is being done that I'm going to show you in the final tour video once I get that put out later on next week so obviously I have to do the trim around this counter and also I have to cover in this wall as well as a bunch of other things but while we're over here I can show you this slide out pantry that I put in here that's hidden inside the wall so it just slides out like this so you can put in spices or food or whatever else you need to put in there. And it's completely out of the way. Once that wall is covered up, nobody's going to know where that is. Then up top, this is the counter that I made out of the flooring. And I have to say that this was a clutch idea because this really helped me uh, save on cost, time, and it's just it just looks great. So over here, I also put in an outlet inside of the counter. And it has two USBs and three plugs in it. And then when you push it down, it's just recessed completely out of the way. So nobody knows what that is. Got to have the paper towel holder. And then over here, this is the backsplash. This whole thing is peel and stick. So it's super lightweight. This is also the original refrigerator, the original microwave, and the original stove. I wanted to keep all three of those to keep the cost for this build down. And I was able to actually build them all in perfectly. I also had to redo the lights, so I ended up doing these as LED 12 volt lights, and I also did under cabinet lighting over here. I have a light switch that's underneath. So I put the lights recessed inside the cabinet so they'd be subtle, but they brighten this space up a lot so you can see exactly what you're doing. And then this is my favorite part of the kitchen. This is the sink top cover right here so that I could cover up the sink because it's three feet wide because this thing takes up a lot of space. But when I move this out of the way, you can use the sink underneath here and I hate washing dishes so if I'm gonna wash them I wanted to have a ton of room so that's why I put this huge sink in here this faucet comes out it swivels moves it has a swing arm so you can get anywhere you need to go in here it has two streaming modes so you can uh, use it for whatever you need to use it for and then once you're done with it you just cover this back up and then you can use this entire thing as counter space then underneath we just got the regular 
kitchen drawers with stuff like utensils, knives, and stuff like that. And then under here, I just have the uh, cabinet that gives me access to the plumbing and stuff underneath. So thank you guys so much for watching. That's all I got for you today. If you want to see some more of me, check out the NMEX YouTube channel. That's a YouTube channel that me and my friends are doing that's like more fitness oriented. See you in the next video. Stay tuned for the tour of this entire trailer since I just finished it. Coming real soon. See you later. Never at ease. I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream. I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen. She lit me the evening. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me the snippet. You well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder. She wrote it. Still up with courage. You're doing a service. Pull up to the crib. I'm equipped with the brush strokes. Cut throat from the low low when no love goes. Women buddy buddy like a spin.